the Titans. Absolutely gargantuan Cybertronians, born in the age of the 13. Largely responsible for the spread of mechanical life throughout the universe. However, in the grand year of the Titans, one should not forget the Omnicons. The smaller bots that crewed the Titans, often in mass-produced forms, whether they be the weaponizers, modulators, or occasionally even fossilizers. It's thanks to the Omnicons that these colonization efforts are ever successful. Hey everyone, Tiv here. Today we're taking another peek at Ironworks, because the old video kinda sucks. Strong support requires a good foundation. As you may have surmised from that whole intro, Ironworks is an Omnicon modulator. Omnicon in this context referring to the first generation of Transformers born from a Titan. Often built with a specific niche in mind for colonization efforts, and mass-produced frames for an ease on resources. The modulator subclass of Omnicons refers to Cybertronians that are capable of forming small-scale buildings and facilities for use by Titan Masters and Micromasters in the early stages of a Titan's colonization of a world, as well as having the ability to form tools and occasionally weapons for more normal-scale Transformers. The Ironworks body type is suited for mining facilities and communications tower work. Notable Ironworks include Foehammer, the heroic Autobot who partnered with Overair to form rocket staging facilities in cooperation with Skylinks during the Great War, and the nefarious Grease Pit. Known for partnering with Ratbat in a covert oil stealing operation on Earth as the evil Car Wash of Doom. While those two have stories of their own, which we might cover eventually, we're going to cover one of the most average Ironworks there is, who just goes by Ironworks. He partnered with the Micromaster Iron Tread in one of their early Cybertronian colony worlds after the war ended. Strength-wise, we have Ironworks being innate. He's suited to mining, and so he's a pretty heavy-duty kind of bot. He's able to pierce into and recover mineral deposits with just the tools he has built into his system. Meanwhile, on intelligence, he, he's a five. He's no means dumb, but they ha have about average Cybertronian intelligence, often needing a Titan Master or Micro Master like Iron Tread to help effectively guide colonization efforts. And speed-wise, <laughs> I mean, I gave him a one. He turns into a building. That's not exactly very fast. And being a heavy-duty bot, it's not like he moves around that quickly in robot mode either. But endurance-wise, that's where he shines. I've got Ironworks pegged as a 9. They're forged from their Titan to last. Come Pit or Primal Revelation, you'll be hard-pressed to even knock one of these guys out unless you're a super heavy hitter yourself. Rank-wise, I have them generally out of 5. They don't rise too high in their respective military hierarchies. Not out of a lack of skill, but simply to them but simply because they're relatively content in their lot in life. Courage-wise, I gave 7 for our, the Ironworks that's partnered with Iron Tread. On average, though, Ironworks in general are willing to fight to protect the worlds and cities they call home. But only insofar as any nationalistic citizen is. For firepower, while Ironworks are primarily construction bots, I have them at a 6. They're fitted with tools and mining machinery when they're forged, but you'd be surprised how effective these things can be used in a fight. And skill-wise, I've got them at an 8. Both the Ironworks that's partnered with Iron Tread and Ironworks in general, well, they're the best at what they do. Enough said. 